The upcoming season of Stranger Things seems to be focused around Summer and Hawkins and premieres on July 4th. I thought it would be fun to put together a viewing party spread inspired by themes from the show, the trailers for season 3, and Independence Day in general. So let's get right into it. First up is Dustin's backpack. This is a surprisingly simple table decoration filled with some of his favorite things. Using a regular hat as a template, my friend recreated Dustin's hat for me out of cardstock. I didn't have a backpack but happened to have a duffel bag in a similar color. I filled it with chocolate pudding cups and three musketeers bars. I also included a box of Reese's pieces and covered a book I had with the Dungeons and Dragons cover I found online. This could be filled with any fun things you can think of, like a walkie talkie, Ghostbusters merch, or a prop can of Farrah Fawcett hairspray. The trailer shows glimpses of a fairground and house of mirrors, so I decided to make some fair food for the main course. I made corn dogs for the first time and they were actually not too much work. I followed a YouTube recipe video that turned out great, so I'll link it below. One takeaway that I thought was helpful was pouring the batter into a tall glass to easily dip and cover the hot dog. Another simple idea is to make upside down burgers. You can build the burgers to your liking with the buns reversed or build the whole thing upside down, it's really up to you. I just flipped the buns so the burgers would still be easy to eat. Then just layer with your favorite burger fixings. I placed both of these items in classic red baskets lined with checkered paper that I found at the dollar store. The last main course item I decided to make was a Demogorgon pizza. Inspired by the Demogorgon in season 1, this was actually pretty easy to make. I bought raw dough from Trader Joe's and let this rise for 30 minutes. I eyeballed cuts into the circle to create a star shape. I tried to make sure one side was smaller than the others for the top of its head. Once I was happy with the shape, I transferred to a greased baking sheet. Make sure you decorate your pizza after putting it onto a baking sheet, otherwise the whole thing will be a mess. Start by covering the whole pizza with marinara sauce. I used the lid of the jar to place in the center as a guide for the mouth. Next, cover the pizza in mozzarella and parmesan cheese. I used a pair of scissors to cut pepperoni into strips and fan them out from the center. I cut some sliced olives in half and repeated this process until the whole pizza was covered. Once I was happy with how this looked, I removed the lid from the center and added a single pepperoni to the middle. Bake as directed, which I believe is 475 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. I also popped some popcorn and decided to make a refreshing summer drink. I made a watermelon agua fresca by putting the watermelon in a blender along with lime and mint to taste and pouring the mixture through a strainer. You can add sugar if you'd like, but I felt like the watermelon was sweet enough. I topped off the drinks with some mint and lime slices for garnish. In the trailers, we see Billy and Steve with new summer jobs. Billy is a lifeguard at the Hawkins pool while Steve works at an ice cream shop called Scoops Ahoy inside the Starcourt Mall. I created an easy pool themed snack with blue colored jello. Simply follow the instructions on the box and divide evenly into clear plastic cups. Leave in the fridge to set. Next, find some summer themed graphics online and print them out on cardstock. My friend had the idea to also print out a little Dustin hat to go with the boy we found and I love how it turned out. Simply cut out the graphics and tape a toothpick to the back to stick inside the jello. With Steve working at Scoops Ahoy, I had to include ice cream. I bought classic flavored ice cream and all the fixings to create a banana split sundae station. I got chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla ice cream, bananas, chopped peanuts, whipped cream, and maraschino cherries. I also got cups and cones for those that didn't want banana splits. My friend also recreated the sailor hats they wear as part of their uniform, and I love how it looks up with all the decorations. It wouldn't be a Stranger Things themed party without waffles in honor of Eleven. Instead of using actual Eggos, I thought it would be fun to have a waffle making station with ingredients to make the Eggo extravaganza that Hot makes in season 2. This is a stacked waffle dessert layered with whipped cream, chocolate chips, Reese's Pieces, and jelly beans. I kept all of these ingredients on the side because realistically, not everyone wants to eat all of those things on a waffle. Lastly for decorations, I wanted to stick to a summer 4th of July barbecue vibe. I kept the color scheme patriotic and most of the items were found at the dollar store except for the paper fans that I got at Amazon. These reminded me of fireworks and I loved how fun they looked. 
I'm so excited for season three of Stranger Things and I'm sure you are too if you've stumbled upon this video. So thanks so much for making it to the end and thanks so much for watching.